Hi everyone, Ryan from Avatar Aquatics, and today I'm going to show you how I make a DIY microscope using just the materials seen here. So first off, we have some tape. This is electrical tape. You don't have to use electrical tape. You could just use regular tape, but uh, I find that electrical tape is a little easier to take off, and we don't want any uh, sort of sticky glue all over the place. So what I'm going to do is just use my scissors and take off about an inch and a half. So we can go ahead, put this away. We don't need it anymore. We're just going to keep this in the frame. The second thing is a laser pen. Now this laser pen I've already taken apart and as you can see, I kind of broke it in the process. Don't expect to keep your laser point pointer or your laser pen, uh, but what we're looking for is this lens in the head of the laser. So usually, originally it was in here, but I had to use a little bit of finessing to get it out. Um, just a word of caution, you might need pliers and everything, and sometimes it can get really, really hard. So as long as you can get it out, it's not a problem. And since this is just a trash, we can go ahead and let it go. What we're really looking for is this sort of laser uh, lens in the head. Be really careful because it rolls everywhere. Now, this last thing is just a bobby pin for the hair. If you have long hair, uh, or if you know someone who has long hair, chances are they'll have bobby pins. Uh, and if you don't, you can go to the store. Uh, any, any store with hair products will have this. Be really careful when you're looking for them. You wanna make sure you find the ones with sort of these uh, uh, folds on one side. So these sort of wavy uh, up and downs. And then lastly, we're gonna need a phone with video capabilities and your video has to be able to do this, where you click on the flash and it turns the uh, flash on for you without turning it off. So make sure you are in video mode if you have an iPhone. Uh, for photos, you it's a little bit uh, different because if you click photos and you, you can't keep the flash on. So make sure you're in video mode when you are doing this. So let's get started. This You can use this to look at anything uh, under the microscope about uh, one or two centimeters or less. So looking at here, we have this little black dot. Hopefully you guys can see it, but I'm not sure if it'll actually focus on, you, on it. But this black dot here is what we're gonna be looking at. This is a little baby Amano shrimp, stage one. And I'm gonna show you that it's really, really easy to see it under this microscope. So let's go ahead and start building it. What you're gonna do is you take this laser uh, lens here, and uh, let me fo just focus on my hand there. And you're gonna open this like that, and you're just gonna wedge it into the bobby pin like this. You can go either side, it doesn't matter. And you're just gonna hold this really careful because if you accidentally push it out it's going to go flying because of the tension from the bobby pin so be really careful when you're doing this the second thing is we are going to take our phone like this lay it upside down you're going to take the piece of tape and this um, bobby pin and you're just going to let me make sure we focus just going to put this over like that. Make sure that it matches the camera perfectly. That's good. And then you're just going to tape it over like so. Now, on the uh, more recent models, you might get more than one camera here. That's not a problem. All you gotta do is cover up one camera and see whether or not the uh, camera has been covered like this. So if it's doing the right thing, you're gonna see like a very hazy looking thing. It's not gonna be clear. So just go ahead, switch around the cameras until you figure out which one is right. All right, so let's get into looking at these uh, things under the microscope. Now I have a microscope slide. Now I do find that these glass slides help everything uh, be a lot easier and a lot more clear. And uh, if you don't have glass slides, you can use a little piece of white plastic 
and just put your droplet of water on there. However, like I said before, these slides do make viewing a little bit easier. I like to put something white on the bottom if I don't have that white plastic, because if it's white, the way the light reflects down and back up, it makes viewing just a little bit easier. Next thing we're gonna do is turn on our flashlight, and the goal of today is to match this droplet of water here with the camera lens right here. So all we're gonna do is be very gentle. Make sure you don't dunk this lens down into the water droplet because you're gonna have a pretty bad time if you do. And all I'm gonna do is slowly move the camera around. Now, what I'm gonna notice is that there is a specific distance where the actual uh, sample can be seen and anything above or below that will be very, very blurry. So let me just go ahead, zoom in like this because I believe I did find the Amano shrimp. I'm trying to do this with like two different cameras is very, very challenging, but I'm all for a challenge. Okay, there he is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and overlay a uh, the this actual footage because what we can do is just start taking a video like this. Once I overlay this video, you guys can see that we can actually see a lot of detail here. We can see that it's still eating something. We can see the orange color on its abdomen. It sort of uh, swam away from me, but I'm trying to get this refocused. There it is. And we can see that its eyes are still sessile, meaning that it does not have, um, uh, it is not in stage two yet. So another thing that you can do is gradually zoom in and you can actually get a lot more detail just by zooming in the video with your fingers. We can see its tail as well as a, some of the phytoplankton around it which is absolutely interesting and gorgeous. Look at that. All from a tiny, tiny laser pointer lens. Look at all the detail that you can see here. And the greatest thing about doing this on your camera is that you can start taking videos whenever you want. Look at those little dots in the water. Now, like I said, this does take some practice and some getting used to. You're not going to be able to hold it very steady the first time, but after a while, it'll be very, very easy and just like second nature. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time, and if you liked it, subscribe if you would like to see more.